Milligan Parish, two Delcom High School students were arrested for terrorizing, then released to their parents. As News 10's Rodrika Taylor reports, this is the first school threat of the year for the school at, uh, within Iberia Parish. Here at Delcom High School, students and faculty were able to be on campus and a normal school day proceeded after law enforcement dealt with the social media threat. Once our agency is notified of a threat, we take the investigation. We've issued several warrants, especially in this case as well, to determine where did this threat originate, which is how we got there so quickly in identifying where the threat had originated. But it's a team effort. Not just one person can do it. So all of us working together, we can achieve that end result. Jared Broussard, a detective sergeant with the Vermilion Parish Sheriff's Office, says through their investigation, a 14-year-old and a 13-year-old girl were linked to the social media threat. Both both students were arrested on one count of terrorizing. However, they were released to their parents. Stating that they are juveniles, that the penalty is going to be up to the 15th Judicial District Attorney's Office and the juvenile courts to determine the penalty for a juvenile. Authorities say this is the school's first threat of the year, as well as within Iberia Parish. The superintendent of Iberia Parish School District sent this statement to News 10 saying, quote, out of an abundance of caution, district officials and law enforcement were present as students entered school according to our security protocols. This administration is very proactive in protecting the schools of our parish. In this instance with Delcom High School, we reached out with Delcom Police and the Iberia Parish Sheriff's Office to uh, input added security to notify the public that one that you know these crimes are serious and two to give you know the the, the rest of the student body and the, and the faculty the peace of mind that you know we don't take these these crimes lightly authorities say the investigation is still active anyone with information contact the vermilion parish sheriff's office Rodrika taylor klfy news 10.